Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart together and going over the current trading range on Bitcoin and the targets for this range when we get a breakout of it. So I hope that you really enjoy this video. It is going to help you a lot for your trading over the next few days as well as the educational side of this video where I'm going to be teaching you how we are looking to get these targets. So I hope that you really enjoy and I will say at the end of the video, I will be making another special announcement for you all in this video. So make sure you stay to the end where I will be telling you what that is. But without further said or do, let's jump into the charts that we have here on the Bitcoin chart. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down to the 15 minute chart. And I'm going to show you exactly what we have going on here on the local term time frame. Obviously, last night we done a live stream for everybody where we were talking through you through a few different sections, primarily when we were up here at $40,000 and the drop that we had down to here. And I just want to remind you, because I know it was a two and a half hour long live stream. We're just going to remind you what was happening up here and what was happening down here and how this has really expanded across to where we are right now on the chart. And this is obviously how we're going to be going over our current targets for Bitcoin. Obviously, right, if we take a step back before we go over the current targets, when we were approaching this level, as you can remember, we were obviously at that CME gap resistance. Okay, so this was our CME gap. If we zoom out slightly, what we can see is this was our gap on the CME chart. We obviously breached the one-to-one, -one, the one-to-one -one extension. We came up to that CME chart gap. Uh, just so you're aware of this, uh, this was a update that I gave live in the time on Instagram. So if you are interested, obviously I can't be 24 hours on YouTube. So if there's ever a really urgent update that I need to give really quickly, I will just always post this over on Instagram, just on the stories. So if you're interested in those urgent updates that I will just give really quickly as we start to see levels cleared, that was the level I made you aware of yesterday as we were breaching the one-to-one. -one. Watch for that CME gap. So if you're interested in that, you can obviously follow over on Instagram. But that's exactly what happened. So it was exactly what happened. We breached the one-to-one -one extension and we made our way to that CME gap. And as we know, we spent six hours consolidating on that CME gap. And in the end, what we had was the low volume push. Okay, so this last attempt to break through the CME gap failed. And I want to play you a section of the video which is so important and hopefully it can you know, I just want to emphasize how important this really was. So I'm just going to play this one slash two minute clip of last night's live stream so we can really reinforce why we rejected here and how that brings us to where we are right now. So just pay attention to this clip a second, please. Thousands and nobody is actually buying yet. So to break this level, we are going to need to see the volume increase. And as it stands, we're not getting the volume. Let's see if we can get it on this attempt. We're really going to want it to see at least at least 5 million at the very least. And we're just not getting it right now. So this is, um, it's not going to break until we can get the volume. That's it's safe to say that this is, this could get the rotation down unless we get the volume come in here. This is not, this is not looking so good as it stands. We're going to have to remain patient. It could get a rotation. What I'm saying here, unless we get that, at least I would say 5 million volume, at the very least, we could get this rotation at least back down and test this point of control. So what we're going to have to be looking at here is as it's happening right now, are we going to start getting this volume in or are buyers not going to turn up at $40,000 again? As you can see, we've tested $40,000 once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and each time down, down, down. Are we going to go down? Or will we actually get the buyers turn up one final time to breach $40,000 up to the target box? As it stands, it is not happening. Okay, so it's not happening. And we could... So this is what I was... That's basically what we were looking at live in the time as it was happening last night on the live stream. So it was... You know, I, I know we would have saved a lot of people from trying to buy that breakout. Because obviously in the time people would have been thinking that that was looking really nice. We're obviously getting quite an impulsive move to the upside. And what we recognize live in the time is that the volume was not coming in. So as I was saying in that video, we are not getting the volume in. And unless we saw at least 5 million, I, wasn't ex I was expecting another rotation to the downside. Obviously, we had that range going on. And in the end, we come down, 
we tested the point of control we really lost it and in the end we lost our channel we back tested that channel and we made our way down to support okay so that was just a really nice live in the update last night how we recognized that this was not going to be breaking to the upside because the volume was extremely extremely low nobody wanted to buy above forty thousand dollars on that fifth attempt that really highlighted the weakness in the bitcoin chart and we made our way downwards and now i just want to bring you over to the cme chart so this is our cme futures chart as we know this was the gap that well what happened here is honestly really 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 special so i need you to get out your notepads and pay attention to this because that gap held us down for five hours before we broke to the downside and then as we broke to the downside last night i'll just remind you one more time of what we were saying as we were down at this level i'm just going to play this this is a 30 second clip but again very important information we are consolidating at support so we could still see this move up from here alternatively we lose these supports and i honestly would then be looking to short at least down to these lows so then what we were saying is during that stream last night as we were actually dropping to the support i was saying i am not worried on this drop it is all profit taking this was a profit taking drop there was no reason to actually be fearful i think last night in the live stream we helped a lot of people recognizing this was not the breakout to buy and this was actually a dip to buy because it was all based on profit taking and as you can see from that profit taking drop if we load up our indicators here what we can see is we come down to support very perfectly how we saw this drop down through the support here and a nice bounce here we saw that drop to the support one more time and we got that bounce once more and the level where we rejected off of here is very 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 important you can see once again we retested that cme gap to the exact dollar we rejected off that cme gap to the dollar that is the level we were looking at for that cme gap we rejected it once again to the dollar for another extreme decrease in price but i want to show you the confluence that we have at this cme gap when we come back over to our buy bit chart as we know that was our point of control that is a point of control and as you can see here ladies and gentlemen that point of control after losing support we got our support bounce as expected and we actually retested that point of control as you can see here ladies and gentlemen we retested the point of control and that was the high of the move for a big move to the downside and have a look where we where we bounced it was at those lows so at the lows of that flag we actually got our bounce underway so that kind of gives you the overview of where we are now and how perfect really it has been so perfectly technically trading the way that we were able to recognize those rejections from 40k recognize the support was likely to be occurring here for the bounce to the upside and then where we've rejected off of that point of control and then where we would find support coming back down below those lows so each of those pivots have been extremely extremely technical and for me it makes me very 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 happy as a technical based trader so now in terms of the targets and our consolidation i'll show you one more time if you remember this one-to-one -one extension of the low of the triangle to the high of this triangle move to the low this one-to-one -one, which obviously let yesterday did give us our pullback we were you know um, making you aware of that resistance and we actually pulled all the way back before an increase in price and what you will see here is we obviously did drop to our support for that bounce but you can see once again that one-to-one -one has been resistance lost back tested as support support lost and now it is resistance once more so we can see how that one-to-one -one extension has given a lot of trades here it gave a resistance it flipped it into support coming up to that point of control resistance coming back as support losing it and now testing it as resistance so ladies and gentlemen i think it is very clear very clear right now where our local resistance is and it's coming in at that one-to-one -one extension which is thirty-eight thousand six hundred dollars so thirty-eight thousand six hundred dollars is our very local resistance right now on the bitcoin chart what i'm going to do is i'm going to expand this and we're going to see where now the point of control is so we're going to see it's still up at those highs ladies and gentlemen so this means if we breach the one-to-one -one extension the next target to the upside is going to be around thirty-nine thousand six hundred and thirty dollars 
this is still our point of control this is still our resistance so i hope that you're writing this down ladies and gentlemen because it is very 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 important for if we're going to go to the upside these are very big target levels to be aware of the reaction as we are hitting them so those are my two key levels below us, uh, sorry above us within this current range and obviously if we break to the upside that's where we're going to be looking at our higher term time frame targets of that 40,500 to really we're looking at 41,000 so this is our $500 target box which is still in play from our triangle breakout that we were trading a few days ago on the charts so those are the upside targets now for the for the downside some very important levels to the downside for me $36,000 and $34,000 those are the key levels that I am going to be aware of if we actually break to the downside of this current pattern or slash the range that we are currently trading. So that is honestly how I am approaching this today. I th believe that we're going to be in a range bound environment. I am very much aware of those levels to the upside of resistance, my levels to the downside of support. And today I feel you have to take a breath, take a breath, relax. The trades are extremely technical here, but you are getting one, two, three trades a day. You're not going to be finding lots and lots and lots of trades. It's a day where you have to take it a little bit slow, do your technical analysis. And when you put in the time on this technical analysis, you will be rewarded because there is a lot of technical opportunity here on the charts. And honestly, I am I am loving it. Uh, so it's really, really, really nice. Um, what I will say is obviously... When we got that bounce yesterday, this was over in Discord for the spectators. So this is obviously the free Discord for everybody. But I was making you all aware that I did take profit on my long as we were coming back up and retesting that channel. And I know lots of people are really, really, really appreciating and loving these updates. So what I will say is if you are loving this video, uh, you know, we really appreciate you to smash up those likes. Obviously, yesterday, as we were talking you through the retracement live in the time, talking you through the bounce live in the time, if you are loving that, if you are loving the content that we're giving you, it really does show us great appreciation. If you can, give this video a like. Um, really appreciate it, it honestly is. And so that's what I wanted to talk you through in this video. And the announcement that I wanted to make. So this, this is the announcement that you've been waiting for. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to say is we are willing to do another live stream tonight. Every live stream that we have made thus far has been giving crucial like massively important information we've been talking through some of the major drops on the chart and major rises on the chart live as they are happening and we are saving people from buying these highs and shorting these lows it's really 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 important information i really do truly feel that and if you are interested in another live stream tonight, you can show us you want the live stream by smashing up those likes. And what we're going to do as a target for this video, we will say 800 likes. If this video gets 800 likes, we will do another live stream for you tonight where we will be going the price action in the moment on the Bitcoin chart, looking at our new support and resistance levels. We do have to remember a lot can change in, well, let's say in about eight hours time, a lot can change. So if you're interested in that live stream tonight, you can head just into the like button down below, smash those up. If we get 800, we will happily do another live stream for you tonight. Um, one final thing that I want to say is in the comments section down below, we will leave a few different links, obviously to our website, if you're interested in that, and that's how you can get the invite over to the Discord. Um, I will also leave a comment to the Bybit. So a lot of people are asking about the Bybit referrals. Obviously, at the moment, there's currently a free, well, you can get up to $590 for absolutely free by joining Bybit via our link and then entering the code jackpot. That will get you a basically an activation on your account of a deposit bonus up to $590 for absolutely free. So I'll leave that in the comment section down below as well. And lastly, the Instagram. Again, this is for if there's ever an urgent update that I need to give, which I'm unable to get to YouTube for, such as making you all very much aware of that CME gap as the next resistance. Obviously, that is the current resistance that we have rejected from oh so perfectly. So I will leave that in the comment section below if you want those urgent updates as well. Uh, and that's it for this video, everybody. I really hope it has helped you. Although I'll summarize it one more time. In this video, I have talked you through how we saw this in the live stream saw this in the live stream how we come back up to the point of control we rejected 
back down to those lows. We're now coming back up to the one to one extension. I've given you the levels to the upside. If we break through that one to one extension, primarily the point of control, then we're breaching into that 40, really 40,500 to 41,000. If we come to the downside, I'll let you know I'm looking really for around that $36,000. Um, so that's my update for you today. I really hope that has helped you. And if you're interested in that live stream, once again, you can smash the likes, subscribe to the channel, tick the bell so you do not miss when we go live tonight. That's really important. You do not want to miss it. And uh, hope to see you tonight, I suppose. Thank you ever so much, everybody. That's me signing off and hope you have a brilliant day trading this charts. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.